Okay, so guys, as you can see here, um, my mom is getting some, well, spicy. Well, I think, oh yeah, my mom is getting me some, well, oh, come on, just don't put the pickles together with the, the spicy um, powder. Please. No, it's going to make the pickles spicy. This is a bad idea. Let's put the pickles in the soup first. So, well, uh, okay, it's a bit hard with chopsticks. XD. So, guys. Are we still recording or something? Let me check. Actually, okay. This video is a bit, like, spoiled. Okay, it is recording. Okay, good. So. I actually should make this, like, a live stream or something. Let's get started. So only, so on the book it says only the milk, the chemicals in the milk could fuse with the chemicals in the, in the chili to make it like not spicy. Like, in, like to fuse with the chemicals in the chili which makes the chili spicy. To make it like not spicy, which means it, it will make it like recovered or something. I don't know how to say it. So, let's get started. First off, we are gonna put a big off. I mean, a, not the big, I mean, a, oh no, my English is broken. Put a bit off, well, Or chili powder right here. Okay, I think that's enough for something. Oh, no, no, no. My chopsticks. So, as you can see here, you see it this much. So, let's try. And I'm very sensitive to spiciness. Oh, Jesus, no. Oh my god, it's finally better. I basically drink like five times, you know? Five big sips. To make it like not spicy anymore. Okay. So guys, I think this is um I think this is the best way, you know, with the chili to verify if the milk is pure or not. If it's if it's pure, it should be like really effective on chili, chili, even chili powders, or um, the chili Mexico, I suppose. It may kill someone. Okay, so now let's try it with the pure milk. 